You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well this week we're taking a look at Snapseed. It's an application that allows you to bring in photos and then adjust those photos with uh, saturation and contrast and add frames and borders and all kinds of filters. Now the difference between Snapseed and some of the other applications that are out there for the iPad is the interface. So let's take a closer look at how great Snapseed is. All right, before we open Snapseed, let me show you some photos I have on my iPad. These are some shots that I have from my childhood town of Hamilton, Montana, where I grew up. And I shot these last year. Here's the house I grew up in. This is my mom. And I even have this uh, underexposed image of the Bitterroot Mountains that maybe we can fix up in post. And then this one is one of my favorites. This is an image of my sister and some of her friends taken in 1971. And I really want to fix this up and send it back to my sister. So those are the images that we're going to be working with in Snapseed. So let's open up Snapseed and see how we can adjust those. Now, as soon as you open Snapseed, you're going to see the sample image, and they've included that so you can play with some of the things over here on the left. And if you don't know what's going on, there's a really nice help feature, and it's called Show Overlay. And if I click that, there's this overlay that shows you exactly what you can do on each screen. So all of the different screens and areas in the application have this uh, little help menu and the overlay. And if you need more help, then there's also online help and videos and there's support. There's all kinds of things that you would normally uh, have in an application, but it's pretty easy to, to use this. So to get started, what we'll do is we're going to open an image. I'm going to go into my photo album and we're going to open this image that is of my sister and her friends uh, taken back in the 70s. And I want to fix this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in uh, right off the bat and we're going to use autocorrect. On the left hand side here we have uh, different things that we can do to our images. So I'll just walk through a few of these. So autocorrect is really nice. So I'll load that in and immediately you can see that there's a big difference uh, be in my uh, photo here. And if I want to see what that difference is, I can push this compare button and hold it down. That's before, let go, that's after. And then what I can do is uh, on the, this application in Snapseed, what you can do is if going up and down, if I push this and go up and down, you can see that I have this little menu here and all of the different uh, areas, that's how that works. So up and down allows you to choose what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to say contrast correction. And once you've chosen what you want to do, left and right allows you to do that. So it's really intuitive. So I can just say I want to do color correction and go left and right to add or subtract color. So I really sort of like that, and then I can say, what was it before, what is it after? Looks pretty good. I'll make this a little less blue. I'll go down here to contrast, add a little bit more contrast. Yep, I like that. Okay, then I'm going to apply this, so I'll push that. And now that I have that applied, the next thing I want to do is crop this. So I'll push crop. And the way that the crop works is if you grab on a corner, you can break the aspect ratio. So it's going to be... Um, you know, you can make it wider, taller, whatever you want to do. I'll undo that. If you want to keep the aspect ratio, you use pinch, and that's going to keep the aspect ratio of the original image. Well, on this, I don't want to keep the aspect ratio because I need to get rid of a bunch of this stuff on the side, so I'm just going to drag these sides in here really quickly. And I like that. I'll say, if I can also preview this, so it'll show me exactly what my crop's going to look like. It means I, I need to pull this in just a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'll hit apply. And now look at this. You can see before and after. So far, so good. Now there's some other things we can do here. I'll show you those on uh, some other uh, photos. But in here, what we can do is we can then enter some frames. And I really want a nice frame on this. So by pushing the frames button here, I can just sort of scroll through the different frames that are available. I sort of like that one. Now I can adjust the uh, frame width or the frame offset. So I'm going to make the frame width much larger. Let me go in here to the frame offset bring that out a little bit. You can bring it in or bring it out. And I like that. And so I'll apply that and check that out. So here's the beginning. Here's the end. And so I've already fixed up this image. Now what I can do is I can go in here. I can save it. And so that's saved to my iPad. I can go in here and share it. I can send it through email. I can print if I have a wireless enabled printer that works with the iPad. There's a few out there that work, let you do that. Uh, I can send it to Flickr or Facebook. So I can really easily share this with my friends and family, which is really cool. So I'll probably send this out to Facebook so my sister can see it. All right, let's open a different image. I'll show you some different things that you can do. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to open up this shot of my mom. Now I love this picture, but I think it would be a lot better if it was higher contrast and in black and white. So one of the things that's really neat, there's this black and white selection right here and boom, there it is, black and white. Now I can go in here, I can adjust the brightness, the contrast or the grain. So I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter. I'm gonna make it a little bit more contrasty. 
Ooh, I like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of grain to make that a little older. There we go. So it looks a little bit more like film. And so that looks pretty cool. I'll apply that. And then just like before, I could go in here and add a frame to that. So I sort of like that. I'll make this a little bit wider, change the frame a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'll apply that. I got this shot of my mom that I really like. And then I'll save it. And if I wanted to, I could share that. Well, let's look at a couple other things that are really cool. So I'll go in here. I'm going to grab this underexposed image of the Bitterroot Mountains. They've just got some problems with this. So one of them is the color is wrong. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click Tune Image. So I can go in here and I can do brightness, contrast, saturation, and white balance. So I'm going to go into the brightness, brighten that right up here. I like that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to change the white balance. It's got a little bit too much blue in it. So I'll do that. And the other thing is I don't like this in color. So I'm going to apply the changes that I've made. Go in here, go quickly to black and white, break that into black and white, and I can really adjust that up, which is pretty cool. But there's something else I really want to do to this, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in here to this thing called grunge. And as soon as I go into grunge, what it'll do is it'll add some textures. And so I can shuffle through the textures and the styles. I can get all kinds of things in this, and it makes it a little bit more artsy. So then I can go in here and I can say I want to do the style or the contrast or the brightness. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. You can see that I'm getting this sort of uh, artistic impression of this uh, shot that I took, so I'll uh, apply that. And I can go back again and then make a frame out of this and really make it something that I really like. So you can see how I'm just really quickly blasting through these images. I'll save that to my iPad. I'm going to open one more just to show you some stuff that we can do. So I'm going to open up this image of uh, the Bitterroot River. This is actually a little tributary of the Bitterroot River where I grew up. What I want to do is I just want to add some drama to it, so I'll click on that and Watch this, it's got me this really cool filter. It just sort of takes this and desaturates some areas. Now I can go here and I can say saturation up or down. So I sort of like that saturated. I can change the styles. There are all kinds of different styles here. So I'll take dark drama one, you'll see how that works, or drama two. There's sort of built in presets that really quickly allow you to add some punch to your images. If you don't believe me, watch this. I'll compare before and after. It's a huge difference. So I'll apply that. Then once again, I'm going to save that to my hard drive. And you can see how I've just really quickly gone through and adjusted a bunch of images really, 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 really quickly. Now, the cool thing is in uh, the left-hand side here, you have autocorrect, you have select to adjust. So selective adjust, let's say we don't like this blue here. I can add a point and say I want it to be right here. I can make that larger or smaller, and it'll show up red where I need to do my adjustments. And I can drag back and forth either the brightness or I can do... Uh, saturation or contrast, and it's just affecting that area that I set up earlier. And so you can selectively say maybe the sky or the mountains or this plant over here. So that's really powerful as well. As well. So the other thing that you can do, you've got selective adjust, tuning images, which I showed you. You can straighten images out. So if something uh, needs to be corrected a little bit, you can do that. Uh, you've got the crop, which I already showed you, drama and grunge. There's also this center focus point, which sort of adds a vignette to the image. Vintage film, so it's another uh, bunch of presets here. So you can see that there's all kinds of different styles here. Once you get the style in, well, then you can go in and you can do modifications to that style by going in and saying brightness, saturation, texture, strength, and dragging left and right to adjust those. You can see that I've got this that I don't really like, but you can see how quickly I went from before to after. I'll apply it. And once again, I just blasted through a bunch of images and got some stuff I really liked. Now, if we go back over here to our photos, you can see if I go to all photos, we now have all these images that I saved and they're available to us to share and show to all of our friends. Well, that's Snapseed for the iPad. It's an amazing app that's just really simple to use, a lot of fun, and it allows you to really quickly and easily share those photos with your friends and even get them out to social media networks like Facebook and uh, other places. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you'd like me to review, you can send your suggestions to me at askmarketadorama.com, and we just might use that app on an upcoming episode right here on Adorama TV. Well, thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again in the next episode. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.